What's up, everybody? It's Purpose Room Life Sports. I'm back here for another NBA video. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about the Bucks and Raptors game one last night. And I watched the whole game. It was actually a pretty entertaining game. Toronto led for most of the game. There was points when the Bucks did take the lead, especially late in the second half and the fourth quarter. Then the, the Raptors took the game back. And then after they took the game back, Toronto went, I mean, uh, the Bucks went on a 10 on run to end the game, and then Toronto did not score for the last three minutes and 26 seconds of the game. Uh, when I was watching, and, and people are going to hear this when you watch all these highlights, is that Kawhi Leonard was gassed, which I believe he was. There was. What, what disappointed me about the game was that, and Kawhi Leonard played 42 minutes out of the 48 that the coach for the Toronto Raptors couldn't find different ways to rush Kawhi Leonard. And I know people are going to be like, well, you're a superstar. you got to be able to play through that. Well, they just got to have a long series. So, And even though they did have three days rest, when you're playing this many minutes in you know, this a short amount of time, a series to me when it's prolonged, it builds up fatigue that you have to account for. you got to find different ways to implement different guys into the series. Uh, Toronto only really goes eight deep, so that's another issue. People keep saying that Toronto's a pretty deep team. They only go eight deep, which is not... It's, it's a deep team, but it's not that deep. Uh, it's Kyle Lowry had 30 points. You know, he had seven of nine threes, played excellent. This is really his best game I've seen from him in a long time in the playoffs. He was really the backbone besides Kawhi Leonard, even though Kawhi Leonard only scored two points in the fourth quarter. Kyle Lowry had like, what, 14 in the fourth? So he played exceptional. Pascal Siakam had a... Ever since, to me, game two... It's either game two or game three against Philadelphia. He's been he's been off. More off than on. He's had a couple of games here and there, but he's really been off. I don't know if his confidence is shaking or if there's like a hidden injury, but he doesn't look the same as he did, especially in the first round against the Magic. Danny Green played terrible last night. He was one for five from the field. He missed two clutch free throws that would have put them within three or four. Now, I'm not really going for, for a specific team, so I don't really don't think I am. It's just when you have a chance to steal game one, you have to go out and take it. And this is my problem with Toronto is that there's too many moments with this team where you think that they're going to that they can pull something off and then they don't do it. Kyle Lowry playing like he did last night and you can't get a game win. That that's to me that's a bad sign. You got Malcolm Brogdon coming off the bench for the Bucks now. This team to me, this Bucks team is a lot of we've all known that. It's just when the opportunities are you have to take it. It's it's so disappointing. It's just too many times I've seen teams like Toronto just not just have it in their hands. They had it in their hands and they and they just threw it threw it in the trash, flushed it down the toilet. Metaphorically speaking, I don't really know if I have an adjustment because to me this was all. It looked like fatigue really caught up to the Toronto Raptors at this point. They went 0 for eight. In the last three minutes, twenty six seconds, zero for eight. So when people want to say that fatigue is not, is a non factor, well, you can actually throw that out the window as well. Because if it wasn't a non factor, then how come Milwaukee had the legs to be able to come back and win this game? This this to me was all effort in the end for for Milwaukee. They. I'm usually never this speechless when I'm when I'm breaking down this analysis, but. I really have nothing to say because it literally was just that Kyle Leonard couldn't make shots. The whole team couldn't make shots in the last three minutes, 26 seconds. Kyle Lowry finally had a good game, but they couldn't get the Marcus Hall didn't have a great game either. And then you got this guy in Brooke Lopez had 29 points, especially 13 in the fourth quarter, had 11 rebounds, four blocks. He played excellent. Uh, Eric Bledsoe got it going in the second half. He played great. I also talked about Malcolm Brogdon. Just, I think him coming off the bench is exceptional. He's a great, he, not only is he a great starter, but him coming off the bench, solidifying that second unit, boy, that's that's tough. 
Like they're going to be a they're they're such a good team this year. I love how they built their team. They're one of my favorite teams to watch. Giannis had 24 points, had what 14 rebounds, didn't shoot great from the field, but he got it done as he usually does. He is their heart and soul. He makes different plays besides having to get to the rim. He's actually becoming a better free throw shooter. He's just great at playmaking for others. So, if there's one thing I, I, I really don't know how. I don't know. I don't know how the Toronto comes back from this. Like this is this is gonna be an emotional. That's an emotional letdown for sure. Had it right in their hands, guys. Had it right in their hands, and you blew it. You freaking blew it. You blew it. You blew it. That's gonna do it for this video. This is my analysis, my breakdown on the Toronto and the Bucks game. I, I, there is. You can't analyze what happened. They shot better from three than the Milwaukee did. Right in their hands. Poof. Threw it in the trash. Threw it in the trash. And this is my problem with Toronto. You got... Threw it in the trash. Listen, guys. I'm going to be watching the Warriors game tonight. You guys saw... If you guys see my other video, I talked about the Warriors. I broke down the Warriors and the Kevin Durant asterisk. So... Look, that's this is my this is my breakdown analysis for the Toronto Raptors, Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, listen, uh, after after last night, I'm probably gonna say Bucks win in five. I had Bucks in seven. Look, just for just for safe measure, I'm gonna go Bucks in six. But for right now, after that, after that emotional no, Bucks in five, I'm Bucks in five. Thank you guys for watching this video. This is gonna do it for me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.